Well, the governor arrived this afternoon. The North Carolina Emergency Management Team assessed the damage there. WNCT's Allie Weatherton followed along and is live now with how people in Windsor are picking up the pieces. Allie. It's been a rough couple days for people here in this community, many of them throwing out a lot of their possessions. One thing they're hoping for funding from the state. She showed me a water line there on the, uh, on the furniture. It wasn't flooded around here and I'm thinking we're going to be OK. Donna Pendleton has lived in this home for two years. She never saw anything like what she saw last Thursday. About 630 that morning, it was coming at the top of my steps. And um, I kind of figured I might need to do something. Many in the town of Windsor put most of their belongings on top of their counters. I have been able to save all the, the you know, things that were personal to me. Um, it's just sometimes it's hard to describe. This morning, the North Carolina Emergency Management Team went door to door assessing damage and taking pictures. Two. So that was damaged? No. Okay. But this one is. The goal is to see how much property was ruined and to possibly see if funding will be made available for homeowners and business owners. Kind of numb. <laughs> Just kind of, you just do it and don't think about it too much or you get sad. Barbara Freeby has lived in this home for the past 29 years. She says now it's time to pick up all the pieces and move on. You just have to put back the top floor and the floor coverings and about a foot, a foot and a half of sheetrock. Pendleton says she's doing the same thing. This was her first storm and her last. She plans on moving. It's one thing about it, you can't fight Mother Nature. You can. Now, people I spoke with said they would really like to move to higher ground and sell their home, but they say it would be impossible to do so. Live in Bertie County, Allie Weatherton, 9 on your side.